everybody. Here we're looking at a Dell XPS 400 computer. Get the side panel off of it. As you can probably see, right there, XPS 400. This was a freebie machine. Didn't pay a cent for it. It was given to me. All I had to do was just um, back up the person's files and get in their files. If I remember exactly, if, if my memory is correct, this is who, this is who that computer came from. But yeah, it was a freebie machine. I've worked with a few of these Dell XPS 400s from time to time. Some of them were more decent than others. This is a later model because it has the um, the Windows Vista capable badge and it has that Intel 5 badge. Yeah, Vive was some, was was an Intel technology that you never really heard of all that much. Um, they were around. 2006, 2007, that time period, and afterwards you never really heard much about it. But anyways, it's a Pentium D, I believe it's a Pentium D820, um, 2.8 gig. This machine had um, 1 gig of RAM when I got it, and an 80 gig hard drive, believe it or not. Now that hard drive was actually not original. It was a brand, relatively new Western Digital, um, dated way after this machine. So, yeah. And dropped in a Seagate 250 gig drive, which is which will give you a lot more space than that. Um, yeah, <laughs> give you a lot more space than that 80. So it's kind of a day machine, but um, I went and put two more gigs of RAM in it to give it three gigs, and we should be good to go with this. I'm going to install Windows 10 on it and see how that goes. As long as it likes your graphics card, then we should be okay. Planning to give this to my um, to my aunt and uncle because they're needing an additional office computer. So they're needing one that can support dual monitors. As you can see, we have DVI and VGA on that graphics card. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put this back together and take a look at the BIOS. I just went ahead and replaced the CMOS battery in it. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. And going to the BIOS. Probably go power on by itself because it had a dead CMOS battery. Yep, it's turning on by itself. And there we go. We're in the BIOS. I knew the CMOS was dead by the fact that the date and time was <laughs> set to 2006, which we know it's not 2006 anymore. That was 10 years ago. Hard to believe, but yeah, 10 years ago. This machine is like 10 years old. This is—I know this machine's from 2006. <clears throat> so anyways, there's your processor info. It's a Pentium D. At least 820, 2.8 gig, 3 gigs of RAM installed. And we definitely need to set our date and time. Today is Sunday, April the 10th. Time is 10 53 p.m. You have Dell bias. You don't have to. You don't have to set the time in 24-hour format. That's pretty nice. Your boot sequence drives. Let's see what we have for SATA operation. And we have RAID in this. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice machine back in its day. <clears throat> Here you can set your options for your onboard devices. Here you can set your options for video. Let 
multiple CPU core, hard drive acoustic mode. I always set this to performance. Make sure it's set to S3 for suspend mode. And it looks like we are all set here. So we can just go ahead and press escape. And we'll get Windows 10 installed.